Hey everybody, Rodham here. Thanks for tuning in to Star Sector. So, I have some tips from you all. Samba mentioned that I am currently not producing organics, so I would need to mine on a planet like Polliver, which has common organics, uh, in order to do that production. So, that's something I'm planning on doing this episode, is getting some organics mining. Uh... All right, and then the other tip was that I sold an Aurora Blueprint over at uh, Perdition, I believe. And I'll have to go over to Perdition and buy that. Uh, so what I want to do is the Hegemony are going to harass... Oh, really? Oh, really? You want to fight me? I didn't think so. Uh, the Hegemony are going to harass the heck out of my... Um, Out of my planet here. It looks like there's a full on, uh, <laughs> uh, whoa, okay. Uh, sure, I'll fight them. There's a full on, uh, pirate war going on. Alright, well, there's my deployment. Bunch of boys in blue, my laser boys. Uh, so I wanted to stabilize the worlds that I have colonies on, uh, my new worlds, that is. So, Gilead and Palaver, um, we're definitely going to want to destabilize and set up. Uh, what other tips did I get? So, Samba mentioned, of course, the lack of organics mining. And then Christopher and Todd mentioned that I sold the perdition, uh, the blueprint at P perdition. Uh, I'll get that back as soon as I get back up north. But my Odyssey doesn't race ahead and get himself squished. Although, this is a pirate fleet. This is going to be a joke. So who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? It's just a bunch of shrikes and falcons that are garbage. Where is... I hear a bunch of contacts, but I, I don't see them yet. Didn't really want to be in this fight. What I want to do is destabilize all the other systems uh, around Polliver. Um... But if there's a, a pirate invasion, uh, that might change things a little bit for me. Alright, I guess I'm closest to this uh, atlas. This, boys and girls, is why you do not use an atlas as a capital ship. In the game of rocks, paper, scissors, an atlas counters nothing. Uh, they're just terrible. That's a bad analogy. It's the equivalent of rocks, paper, scissors, poo. Where poo will never win. I guess I'll put up my shields. Alright, pirates, you done? not entirely sure why this pirate fleet I don't think I clicked on them because it didn't allow me to just disengage and leave if you pick the fight and they don't want it you could just walk away from the fight and that was not a uh, choice which makes me think that they wanted to fight me but I'm not sure why because they were so dramatically outnumbered One thing I think would be cool, and I thought about this a little bit before, is if the if every fleet had a designated, uh, let's call them a captain, or an admiral or whatever, and based upon the admiral's um, AI traits, whether they were like steady or reckless or aggressive or cautious or timid, uh, that the stance that the fleet the whole fleet would take would match their personality. That way you could have some fleets that even if they were dramatically outnumbered, if they were reckless or um, aggressive, they would fight you anyway. Or you could have fleets that are a massive, but the uh, admiral, the chief admiral, is timid and uh, the fleet would, you know, maybe retreat from you even if it was deemed inappropriate. 
or not retreat from you, but just disengage, be more cautious. That would be a pretty cool feature. All right, how many giant derelict husks are you gonna throw at me? I know I can claim victory now, but I'm a little peeved that uh, these guys even made me fight, so we'll turn them into liquid. Uh, I'm just gonna let them go. I don't want ship recovery because their ships are trash. All right, hegemony. Nope, don't want your ship. All right, colony info. It is fully disrupted, so I can go ahead and leave. Uh, take control. All right, even tide. Let's see. Everything needs to be disrupted. Sweet. Launch an orbital environment. Tactical. And launch a raid. Let's go top down for farming first. There's a pather cell at Anyang. Really? Why Anyang? I don't think that my pather interest was high enough for that. I mean, obviously I could be wrong. Seems like I am. But uh, let me take a look at Anyang. Yeah, what gives? Oh, because of course, yeah. The AI core governor and... Okay, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, Gilead spaceport is done. Oh, did they? All right, I just need to disrupt the spaceport now. So wait one day. Look at that income. I invested all my income and now it's coming back to me even more. Um, I think they have enough troops here and I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough, uh, Marines for me to launch raids on Eventide anymore. So let me go over and buy some more Marines. I like how there's so many pirates here and I'm just like, eh. Whatever. Uh, there, there, there's literally no marines here. And I don't think there would be at Palaver either. Uh, Warman just grew. Warman, you're probably going to become mining as well. I'll set that up. If Warman grew, oh, they're, your fleet is too large to disengage. Oh, that's why. Um, all right, laser disco balls commence. Yeah, I don't particularly want to, to fight pirates in a primarily hegemony system because it kind of helps out the hegemony but if they attack me I'm definitely going to defend myself I do realize there's mods to increase the pre-battle speed this part um, this series is mostly mod free there's only some cosmetic mods that lower the, the, the whiteouts of the ship explosions and stuff like that Man, these are some suicidal ships. You don't know what these ships are doing? Uh, 
Oh, that's actually a ship there, isn't it? Their little missile volley. Here's a, a really good reason why I don't like missiles. This uh, Atlas, for instance, not that Atlases are a good example, but this Atlas fired a volley of, I don't know, probably 10, 20 missiles and not a single one impacted because I shot them all down. Yes, you could argue that me having to shoot down missiles used up some of my flux, but it never touched my shields, so it was never hard flux. meaning that uh, those missiles were essentially worthless. And you have a finite amount of them, so they're worthless and finite. That's not to say that all missiles are terrible, just most of the time, if you have decent point defense, you're just not going to be harassed by missiles. to cut through some of the debris even to have an open shot. Come on, stupid ship. I'll switch targets. One that is not blocked by debris. So I'm cutting a swath straight ahead, but there are ships down and right. Come on, this thing's heating up. There it goes. Brings me back to my roots of bounty hunting pirates. But not exactly a fair fight, not anymore. One of the issues with colonizing new planets, especially planets uh, that are sort of all over the core, is I will constantly... Oh, I uh, captured the nav buoy. Uh, I will constantly need to defend them against threats and the like to babysit them. Just give up already. I think the first 30 ships you threw at me blew up. I don't think the next 30 are going to fare any better. Just retreat. Take a look. Yeah, we've pushed them to the very edge of their deployment screen. Oh, there's an Atlas. See how mic- oh, cute! I was gonna say, see how microwaved and how quickly microwaved we can make this Atlas, and it's already gone.
Almost reached. Come on. Ah. Right, well, the other two Paragons got that one. I'll get this one. I feel like I'm being showered in debris. How on earth have they not retreated yet? They literally can't even deploy ships fast enough. Alright, and now they're defeated, but you know... I'm gonna keep punching holes into the, uh... Atlas are fun to kill. Honestly, the, these guys' greatest defense is hiding behind the husks of their, uh, their friends. Uh, pursue, second in command. Wee, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, do I, no, I don't care about that. Don't interdict me if you're not willing to fight. There is crazy debris everywhere. All right, so I need uh, I need troopers. Let's see if I could get troopers. Go to Arcadia uh, first. So I need troopers to destabilize. Oh, planetary shield at Palaver is done. Oh, they're going to have a hard time trying to get through that. Or no, no, rather the planetary shield is building. I misunderstood. Um, so, Palaver, let's do some mining uh, after you get that so we can get some organics. Okay, AI inspection, that's a joke. These guys just don't have Marines. All right, well, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna head back to Rama. Rather than to make a bunch of stops and keep trying to find Marines, I'll just go to where I know they are. Uh, so the systems that I have stuff set up, Gilead and Samara, uh, is that it? Well, I guess I could just go to my own colonies. Polliver is in Samara, Gilead is in Canaan, and then the new ones way up north. Flew right through that storm without incident. That's how we do. Oh, look. Oh, it's Tritachion. Looks so close to Belter Patrol. The Hegemony Expedition has arrived. Wow, I'm just getting storm stomped. Patrol HQ, Don at Anyang. Those new worlds are going to need a little bit of love soon. Uh, let me take a look. I'm missing an industry here. Uh, there are organics here as well, so I'm going to do mining at Anyang. And then, uh, Warman, you are already full up. I'm going to do some growth here. Very expensive. Well, not that expensive. 
but I don't have that lovely multiple millions that I used to be sitting on. I've been investing them very rapidly into my colonies. I mean, as you should be, right? As you should be. There's no point in having buckets of money unless you're reinvesting it to make greater buckets of money, to make greater buckets of money, and to take over the whole galaxy. I don't know if that's really the goal. It could be. All right, so first things first, perdition. Let's go on the open market by the blueprint that I accidentally sold back. Done, and I don't have money for that, so let's go ahead and sell. Okay, well, I will have to build up money for that. Let me wait, I guess. What's the time? Yeah, I have to wait three days. That's, 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 okay. That's fine. Um, resource stockpile. Eight thousand. Fuel. I'm not going to withdraw fuel just yet. Alright, Livoetta. Here's my resource stockpile at Livoetta. Um, the corrupted nanoforges I'm going to sell on the open market. And these... Many of those weapons I didn't ask for. Oops, I did ask for those. But that I uh, asked for those when I was thinking of... Um, yeah, I'm just going to sell all this stuff. When I was thinking of outfitting the... Onslaught. All right, so selling them on the open market here. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to sell my he all my heavy machinery. All right, there's the corrupted nanoforges. Now, for um, for pirates to ever be able to use those, they'd need to raid this uh, base here, and I don't really see that happening. Not not easily, at least. Uh, is there any cores that I could assign? None here. Let's check the other worlds. Bezel. Nope. Gig. Nope. Livoetta. Probably no. No. All right. So there are common organics at Livoetta. Uh, meaning I could switch tech mining over to regular mining and get some more organics mining as well if I needed. We'll, we'll see about supply and demand. Alright, end of the month, give me my, give me my uh, salary, come on, October 31st, it's Halloween, let's go. Alright, there we are, now I can, uh, now I can buy that back. Twas expensive, let's not do that again. Alright, I know how to make an Aurora. Uh, let's custom produce one, might as well. I've been looking for that bad boy for a long time. I'm also going to custom produce the Conquest, uh, because someone mentioned, like, I didn't have a Conquest. I never have, um, so we'll produce both. On the open market, I'm going to buy all of those Marines. And you know what? I'm just going to go... Marine crazy, because I, I want to rush and crush. You know what I mean? So, 2k. Uh, what am I near my... No, I'm not near my crew max. I do, however, need to refuel, and uh, then I'll be on my way. 
Really, I could take all that fuel? Alright, let me try to refuel a little bit more. There we go. Tapped out. And back down to... So I have my gamma cores. Uh, back down here. So if I take a look at all of the colonies, uh, Palaver needs a better um, governor. So orbital works. I'm leaving the alpha core in the or orbital works, but I'm sort of curious if there's alpha cores uh, that I could pull out elsewhere. Let's see. Live what a no bezel, no perdition, no yig, no anyang. Yes, I could go north and pull some out of the uh, the original systems. I'm I'm gonna do that. What gives, dudes? Why do I have my stupid local patrols? You guys need to, um, you guys need a, to reclaim all of the, uh, infrastructure. Ouch. So I definitely could spend some time farming additional alpha cores by blowing up remnant fleets. But considering I have some alpha cores back here that just really aren't doing me much good, I might as well just utilize these. And these cores will open up opportunities to um, uh, Yeah, they'll open up opportunities to colonize additional stuff. This is a very pretty world. I have enough gammas to just slap gammas everywhere. Alright. And over to Blue Crow. So these little gamma cores will reduce demand. Uh, let me go right back to Anyang though. And make sure that uh, maybe the beta core that I have can be utilized productively over here. Um, so you have plentiful organics. Beta core will go into the mining. But that might be a while because uh, I'm going to head back to eventide. Actually, before I do that, I'll get some fuel on my way. So let's grab fuel from Rama. All right, Epiphany just deteriorated, and Heavy Batteries just finished at Anyang. Patrol HQ at Warman. Yeah, I think my market share, once the, once the uh, Hanas system, uh, Improves a little bit. My market share for most things are going to be pushing 50. Alright, I'm not entirely sure that I need the extra um, carrier ship that I got. This other atlas. I, I don't feel like I've filled up close to my um, my max, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I will top up on fuel, and uh, looks like we got the comm relay back from the pirates, and I'm sure we'll get other stuff in due time. 
I'm kind of over the whole, I'm not bothering to micromanage anymore. I don't sweat the little stuff. I probably do have a significant amount of colony threats, though. I imagine. Uh, these two are sleepers. I don't know where they're operating from yet. AI inspection. Okay, and uh, expeditions. Who the heck? Who was this? <laughs> they just, they just like attacked me out of the blue. Rude. Well, there is a blood price to pay when they do that. It looked like a, uh, it looked like a Persian fleet. I guess I'll see once I uh, once I see their their ships engage. Oh, there's a nebula. Okay. Who are you? No, these kind of look like pirates. Could be Perseans. I don't know. I don't know. I'm blowing someone up. They attacked me. I feel bad for not even knowing what faction this is, but... I was not the aggressor, so I'm not going to feel too, too badly. No, I don't think there are pirates. Because pirates wouldn't have onslaughts. Cool. Well, I'm fighting capital ships at least. Oh, my shields went up. What are you going to do now? Yeah, this is Persian, I think. I don't know why they're hostile with me, though. That is a confusing to me. Oh, and they have their own uh, legion. Yeah, okay. This actually looks like hegemony fleet, maybe? All the low-tech ships. I'm rightly not sure. That ship went poof. Yeah, I think you all can see the uh, the attraction of Paragons. They're super tanky and, and uh, do a ton of damage. There, I think. Other than the uh, the Radiance, which you can't command, pound for pound, they're the most dangerous. What are you doing, Dominator? Jesus. Get out of here. Oh, they had like a bunch of onslaughts to fight me with. I mean, we're evenly matched. There's Right now, they have three onslaughts deployed. I've got three paragons deployed. Three battleships versus three battleships. It's not fair. What is this ship doing? It's just sitting here. It was like it was EMP'd or something, but it wasn't. It's just hanging out. All right, stupid debris. Get out of my way. Yeah, they've had, they've deployed maybe like 10 battleships so far. I've killed a bunch of onslaughts, I've killed a few legions, here's more onslaughts and legions. It's a pretty sizable fleet, I had no idea. I didn't really look, I just was like, alright, yeah, let's fight. 
with no pre-notion of who I was fighting. Well, I gotta say, this is probably the biggest non-bounty fleet I've faced so far. Yeah, there's some more battleships. I have enough deployment points to, like, deploy other big ships if I wish. You know what? I need to... Oh, I was going to say I need a vent. And then these stupid little kinetics overloaded me. Yay, fighters! I get pecked to death. Oh, he's doing a burn. No, no burns. Go home. Head out to the burn unit. Now most of these are like demodded, which means they're already damaged, uh, potentially are weaker. I'm curious how many uh, battleships I can blow up in one, one fight, so even though I could claim victory right now, I don't want to. They did just have an onslaught retreat though. Disqualified. I think their uh, legion is trying to back up as well because it's uh, it's not moving towards me at all. Let me just uh, try to zero flux catch up. Uh, both Paragons are shooting it now. Uh, good, good luck. This is the end for you, sir. Alright, is there anything left? No, I really don't think so. Claim victory. So, we blew up. They retreated with one onslaught. We blew up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten battleships. I'm going to pursue them, send a second in command. I'm going to send my onslaughts against their onslaughts. Hell, I'll just send a whole bunch of them. Ship recovery. Uh, well, <laughs> I can recover. I can recover five battleships here. I don't want any of them. They're inferior. But who the hell fleet was this? <laughs> I still don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it was the Hegemony AI inspection, because right when I defeated their fleet, the inspection failed. So the ins I just happened to run into the inspection, I guess? That makes sense. They had all low uh, tech ships. You know, onslaughts and legions. There weren't 14 battle group that I noticed, though. I don't know. That, I did find that funny. Gotten a, gotten a mass, the biggest fight I've ever been in, and I didn't even know who I was fighting. It was just swinging for the fences. Alrighty, so, uh, Palaver, I owe you a proper governor, and by that I mean one that is robotic. And I do believe, oops, I do believe Freeport. There we are. See the other Freeports. Yep, Freeport. And Gilead. Has organics as well, so I'm going to mine them. I'm going to have a lot of uh, organics mining. Freeport. Yeah, I think everybody else is Freeported. Okay. Uh, let's destabilize planets further and trying to get the hegemony out. Uh, this spaceport could be re disrupted.
and then we'll head over to Eventide. I didn't have enough uh, Marines the last time I was there. I do want to capture the relay. I want the stability, so I'm going to take control. But the, uh, the pirate attacks here uh, definitely won. Because they claimed everything. All right, even Ted, how's he doing? Uh, your spaceport needs disruption. So spaceport, I would say, is like the most important thing to disrupt because it cuts them off from the rest of the world. Mining, farming, also need, and light industry also need to be disrupted. So I'll stick around here for four more days and disrupt that stuff. This is a huge world. This is a size seven. It's one of the biggest uh, in the galaxy. So it is. Um, it is going probably going to be one of the hardest to disrupt. All right, let's see. How am I doing? Uh, my farming is the only th and light industry. I'll redisrupt that stuff as a Christmas present to them. So, light industry, and then we're good. So, basically a full year of disruptions. Uh, have fun. Alright, uh, heading over to... Oh, there's two stability relays? Okay, I guess. I'll take control of this one, too. I don't think it doubles up. Yeah, it doesn't double up. I didn't think it would. All right. Tigra City. Let's, uh, let's have one of each type of ship represented in this fight. Do the uh, Captain Planet approach. Why did I uh, spawn out way on the left? Usually you're in the center. I love the fighter spam. These astrals make me happy. These like remnant bombers. Bombing away. Look at this. Ready? Boom! Oh, ho, 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 ho. that just got bombed. Almost all the damage there was just bombers bombing it. I don't know. So there's something very enjoyable about watching that. I hope you guys agree. So I'm sneaking my shots past the shield. And now they're down to one section. I'm actually going to waste some of my flux just blowing up some of this debris, giving me a clearer shot. But that is the real advantage of the bombers. They don't really need line of sight. The bombers and the fighters, as you can see, swarming them right now. Line of sight is not that important. They just are swarming. Ta-da! Alright, Tigra City, you're just all sorts of messed up. I've already done Sphinx, so let's get the sensor ray. And let's move on from Samara outwards, um, destabilizing all of the hegemonies that I can. This is full war. 
Might as well treat it as such. My fuel and my supplies look good. Ooh, Blue Crow grew. I don't have money to really build anything at the moment. So you have mining up here. Uh, maybe I could do heavy industry at Blue Crow. I'll have to think about it. All right, there's my monthly income. Uh, so of the three that are up there, Anyang, there's enough resources here that, uh, yeah, Blue Crow, you're gonna be the heavy industry. So you're gonna be uh, refining first. And then when you grow yet again, I'll put heavy industry here. All right, I kind of liked the one of every class approach. Eh. But I had some extra supplies. So, two legions. I do feel a might bit unstoppable at this point. But it is still fun to dominate an entire galaxy. And they actually had a fleet defending this, too. Not a significant one, but they're trying. Ah, giant torpedoes, and it worked. Oh, I'm, oh, there we go. <laughs> I almost exited the game there. Uh, just continue. Tactical bombardment. All right, let's do s disruptions. It is the eve of Jan 1st. Happy New Year. We blew you up. And then light industry. I'm going to go down to the independent world down here and uh, sell off some of the stuff I got. I don't need to be carrying all this. Uh, but other additions. Um, I don't really think I can build anything else anywhere else. No. All right. Save my money. So Palaver just got the planetary shield. Uh, so this gives you a huge amount of ground defense strength, meaning it's very, very hard to invade even when not um, uh, not super well defended. So I'll start adding ground defenses and stuff like that. Oh, forget open market. I know, they're independents. I don't want to piss them off, but I'm not open marketing. Well, we almost broke even. Um, cool. Well, next up would be Corvus, I guess. And then we'll do... Or no, I'll do Arcadia and then do sort of a left sweep. So what do we have here? We have the Citadel Arcadia. That would be right here. Hello, Citadel. Another orbital. All right, I'm gonna be a little more considerate of my uh, 
supplies. I'm deploying four rather than like six. I'm wealthy, but I don't want to have to keep resupplying over and over because I'm going uh, overboard. It? Oh my god. <laughs> my onslaught has very little consideration for his own or her own uh, welfare. That was kind of hilarious to watch. And I think this is the one of the legions that was stuck with a bunch of uh, interceptors and not bombers, which is why there's not significant bomber presence on the uh, on the station here. Fully disrupted. My job is done. I'm gonna buy some more supplies. Pirate activity at Rama. They can handle it. I mean, they're not going to be able to defeat the pirates, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, next up would be Jangala. Here we come, Jangi. I want to hit a merchant convoy. This is a mercantile convoy that has food and organics. So what what's happening here is these guys are trying to resupply uh, um, planets that have been damaged. Pursue, second in command. Uh, let's just send the astrals after it. And yeah. And by disrupting that convoy... Uh, the recovery of the planet that the convoy was heading to um, will is more difficult, essentially. So, if I ever get an opportunity to snipe a uh, convoy, I will take it. Here's another convoy. Yoink! Pursue! Second in command... And yet another one. All right, so the station here, excuse me, the station here is a star fortress. I'm gonna go full fighters and bombers, full uh, carrier on this thing. Just cause I think it would be interesting. Oh, so they have these uh, floating station thingies. He's reveling whatnots. This is a very weird station. This thing's 
spins quite fast. But for fighters and bombers, that matters not. Ooh, big torpedo hits. Nice. The station armor got blown up. And more torpedoes. So my current fleet here, as you can see, isn't uh, particularly direct damage. They're all fighter damage. That's fine. I wanted to. I wanted to fight like this. Except for whoever this is, Talon, who just keeps uh, torpedo dumping on the station. He's getting real up in there. There's so much going on, I can barely tell what is even happening. They're down to one section that's being bombed to death right now. Alright, Chingala's dead. Pick through the wreckage. I'm going to launch a tactical bombardment and a raid against their starport. All right, it's the All right, start of the 24th raid against their f mining. Longer. All right, there we go. And a raid against their farming. All right, full disruption achieved. These guys are trying to deliver goods to Jingala. Yeah, I'm going to hunt them down. More Luddic path against Blue Crow and, and others. Their max burn is only 18 and mine is 20. Oh, you know what? They might be um, getting boosted from... Yeah, okay. I'm not going to bother chasing them because... Wee bit waste of my time. All right, next up would be... Aztlan. I know I'm almost out of time, but I'll just keep going. Monthly income's looking pretty good. Look at that. Oliver, you're not making much money. Although I don't really have much industry on you, so like, that's my fault, not yours. Pirate raid, that's cute. Somewhat weak, heading to Rama. Yeah, it's a big old joke there. All right, I kind of liked the the battle of many f fighters, so I'll I'll keep that up. Fighter spam was delicious. And this is going to be a, a pretty easy uh, base. Where is your shields? I don't think they've put them up yet. There they are. Get swarmed! It's so fun! I mean, it's really hard to... It's hard to watch just because there's so much happening that it's kind of um, a little hard on the eyes. Well, I don't know. There's something special about the, the swarming that is just excellent to witness. Ooh, nice torpedoes. I'm sure that was Talon again. He likes to drop those finishers.
There they are again. I don't know if they're actually connecting. I also don't know if it really matters, considering how fast this uh, giant top tier space station is getting melted. Let's orbital bombard tech and raid against the starport. That's all they have. So if I view it, they're full disrupted. And last but not least, Chico. And that will be the last thing I do this episode. There's a little push against uh, Chico here. We're running the episode a little long, but that's okay. Alright, so Gilead, uh, my southern, um, my southern colonies that are in the thick of it, I'm going to definitely prioritize planetary shields just so it's more difficult. Ooh, that was a really nice mercantile convoy. Let me chase that. Uh, you know what? I need fast-moving ships, so let me switch this up. Those are my fast movers. Because they're going to be trying to retreat from me, and i got to chase them down. Except for the uh, onslaughts aren't going full burn. I do not know why they are not. This convoy had multiple atlases and stuff like that. But even the Odyssey can't seem to find. Oh no, they're actually capping stuff. So I guess they're not in full retreat. Yeah, yeah, here they are. Uh, Alright, so Odyssey's going to need some help to the northeast. I'm going to go help with that. Because the conquests... I actually want to you come this way. This doesn't look like the mercantile fleet. <laughs> One of the ships was victory at Jengala. You do realize it's my victory? You named your stupid ship after me? Oh, really, Odyssey? Really? Cut me off like that? My dash cam caught it. My insurance claim against you will be, will succeed. Oh my god, stop doing it. Stop jumping in front of my lasers. You're going to get yourself shot. Seriously, dude, I don't need you to pull back for me. Get out of my face. If there's a if there is a tank in this fight, it would be me, not you. Don't jump in front of me. All right. So instead of uh, disrupting Chico, I guess the last thing I'll do is this. This little fleet fight. Oh, I've already claimed victory. For reals? Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Let's pursue. I'm gonna order my second command to do it, because I'm lazy. Not really, but... I don't need to fight it myself. And there it is. Alright, guys. Well, that's all the time I have. I hope you'd enjoyed this uh, this little disruption episode. Um, obviously, I'm going to try to wipe 
the hegemony and maybe colonize some additional core worlds. I know that wasn't really voted on, um, but it seems the right thing to do. If I'm if I'm decolonizing the core, I might as well put my colonies back in, at least on the planets that I think are most valuable. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line. I just wanted to thank uh, Samba and Christopher and Todd for their tips and uh, all the new patrons that support my channel at Patreon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next Tuesday. Adios, friends.